If you want to do magic, you're going to need a magic wand. And if you want to make a web page, you're going to need an HTML editor. In this video, you'll learn all about what HTML editors are, why to use them, how they help, and I'll give you two examples of HTML editors you can use to start practicing and learning HTML. HTML editors are software applications that you use to write and modify web pages. The best way to learn HTML and really any part of tech is to play around with the code and see what it does. HTML editors are your best friend for learning HTML. Professional editors like Visual Studio Code, which does a lot more than HTML by the way, are what professional web developers use. They're great because once you start typing just a little, it suggests what comes next. This saves you from having to remember every single element by heart and helps formatting the page correctly. And it's sort of nice to know you don't have to memorize everything. You can also add extensions, which include big libraries of code to make developing even faster. There's also a feature to run the code and check for any errors or bugs. And you can also add your code to a bigger project, more on that for a future video. Once you're done creating your page, you simply click save, which saves the doc in the folder you've specified. Since the doc ends in .html, just click on it and it'll open in your default browser. In this series, we'll be learning along with W3Schools, the largest web developer site on the internet. You can use their online editor. Just click try it yourself, make some changes, click run, and see how it works. The other option is to use Notepad on a PC or text edit on a Mac. I'm using a Mac, so I'll demo using text edit, although the process is pretty much the same. To start, open text edit, write some HTML, or just copy and paste it. Then select format and make plain text. Finally, save it and add .html as the extension. Click on the file to open up and see what the page looks like in your browser. At the start of this video, I made a cheesy comparison between HTML and magic, which was sort of based on a clip from a more tech optimistic time back in 2013, when Gabe Newell, president of video game company Valve said, the programmers of tomorrow are the wizards of the future. You know, you're gonna look like you have magic powers compared to everybody else. And while HTML isn't really considered programming, I think the point still holds. You're making something happen, and even if you just made a little change in an HTML file, you've gone from someone who didn't know how to code to someone who can code even just a little. And I think that's magic. 